Hello, my crafty friends. Hope everyone's having a very nice day. I have a really beautiful project to share with you guys. Yeah, I actually finally got to craft last week. Oh my gosh, I was so tickled to have be able to craft. Um, it's been a while and I've just had a, I mean, the diction was terrible. Um, my niece and the baby are doing great. Uh, he's he's kind of has a little bit of a colic problem though, but he's doing really well, and she's back at home now, and uh, everything seems to be quiet for right now. I'm so glad. And um, uh, yesterday we had a nasty ice storm. Oh my gosh, it was terrible. But I had one of those days where I woke up on the wrong side of the bed. <laughs> I went into the, uh, Monday is laundry day. I always do my laundry on Mondays. And I went to go wash a load of clothes, and, I, and the washing machine started running, you know, and I heard the water running. And then all of a sudden, I'm like saying to myself, gosh, is it short? I've got one of those uh, new washing machines that are like energy efficient. It's a weird type of washing machine, I swear. It's, it's nasty. But anyway, it started washing, and then I, it, it's like it took forever for the laundry to to finish so i'm like what the heck is going on and i went in there i'm like i'm like oh no please don't tell me my washing machine is broken so um in the meantime i was on facebook and you know watching the videos and the laundry was going and i you know went to go try to rewash the the cycle again and i didn't hear any water and i'm like oh god so i went into the bathroom turned on the bathtub water and there was no water and i'm like oh no not water you know ice storm coming and and no water ah no bath <laughs> so i'm sitting here and i you know had to call the plumber and the plumber had to come out and he t tinkered with it and he said the switch is sticking, so he got it to unstick, but he said it needed a new switch. So sometime today, he's coming out and putting a new switch in our well. So I got that uh, getting ready to get fixed, but at least right now, I'm temporarily, I, I have water. Thank God. So um, I didn't get a chance. He didn't get out here until like it was almost 5 o'clock when he got out here. So I didn't get any water started until 5.30. Then Andy came home and... Um, you know, I, I had to, I, thank God I had a dinner already, like, done, because I had cooked the day, day before, and we had enough for leftovers, so I was, like, uh, glad to, to know, you know, I had something to eat, but then around 5.30, um, we started getting an ice storm like you would not believe. Sleep was coming down, I mean, literally just coming down, and last night, um, I looked out the window, and everything was just nothing but ice everywhere. So this morning, I got up, and I'm saying to myself, I hope the plumber's able to come today. And um, it looks like the traffic's doing okay on the roads, and so I'm like, you know, thank God for that. And, you know, hopefully he'll come out and fix it. And if not, you know, it's temporarily fixed, so hopefully, you know, he'll, he'll be able to fix it today. But in the meantime, um, my laundry got behind. Um, I had dishes in the sink from that morning, uh, and, you know, last night's dinner that didn't get washed, and when, you know, when the water did get fixed, I wanted to hurry up and rush and take a bath, but the funny thing is, you know, my cats, I, I swear, they have this biological clock inside them. They know exactly when it's food time, time to eat, every morning on the dot. I don't care if you want to sleep to 8 o'clock. Well, see, Andy, he gets up like at 5 o'clock in the morning, and by 6, 6.30, they, the cats get fed. So, 6.30 every morning on the dot, I don't care if you're in bed sleeping and you want to sleep late, 6.30 on the dot, they are pounding on my bed, and they are, you know, going nuts and ballistic because it's time for them to get fed. So you have to get up and you have to feed them or they will pester you until you feed them. Then um, at 5.30, they know exactly when Andy gets home from work. And when he gets home from work, certain time of the day, they sit at, at a certain spot. They wake up from sleep in half the day and they will go and sit at a certain spot in the dining room. And they will wait until he gets home. And if he is five minutes late or ten minutes late, they have a moo cow. So, um, yesterday was also cat litter box clean day, which we, I, 
I scoop out their litter box all during the week, you know, so it doesn't you know, cause any smells. And twice a week, we change their litter, you know, because we have multiple cats. So, you know, two times a week, I empty the litter box and, uh, we, you know, clean it out and wash it out real good and everything. Well, yesterday, I couldn't do it because I didn't have any water. And um, the, the cat litter was out in the truck, and uh, I can't lift the cat litter. My husband has to do it for me because it's just too heavy. So, they were getting ornery. I mean, they were is throwing out litter out, outside of their box all day because I didn't clean their litter box. So, they were mad as fire. So, this morning, I had to clean their litter box. It had to be cleaned. I mean, I, I had to get the litter box cleaned because they were letting me know that if I go one more day, they are going to drive me insane. So... <laughs> So yesterday was a bad hair day. I mean, it really was. So today I'm a little behind. I've got like laundry to do. I got dishes to do. I got, you know, I've been working on, you know, organizing my craft room and that's going to be an ongoing thing because it's time consuming and I've been rewinding my lace and oh my gosh, do you know what it's like to rewind lace? It's a pain in the tail. Especially when you have so much like I do. But, um... What I did with my lace, uh, I ordered some of these lace cards, the white lace cards, and I want everything nice, neat, and presentable. The large bolts of lace that are like big rolls, I'm just going to keep them the way they are because it would take, so, you know, 9 million cards. But the, like the smaller rolls and the oddball-shaped rolls, like they have like 50 yards on them, I'm, I'm trying to re-roll them and put them in the little white plastic bins you know, by color and by style and all that stuff. And it's just being really time consuming. So that's been another project I've been working on. Plus, I was cleaning out my craft closet. Kind of like thinning it out a little bit on things that I know. And see, I had some eBay stuff in there from a while back ago before my injury. I had two shelves of eBay stuff. And I've been, I went through that and donated it to the Goodwill. So I've been kind of like super busy doing all kinds of stuff. But anyway... Yesterday, like I said, was a bad hair day. Today's new start day. I got a busy day ahead of me, and I wanted to get this video in because I'm dying to show you this project. And um, what I did is a flower pot, and um, it's it's a bubble gum machine, but it's a flower pot bubble gum machine. And it's kind of funny because I thought of the idea and I was like, oh man, that would be awesome looking. I, I can't wait to put it in Facebook and, and YouTube or whatever. And um, I got into YouTube and I typed in uh, flower pot bubble gum machine and somebody had already thought of the idea. <laughs> I hate that. Don't you hate that? I'm serious. I don't know how many times I have thought of something and, and I, you know, I was getting ready to make it and somebody beat me to it, a video and you know, did it before me and I'm like, darn, you know, I had that thought first. So, but anyway, somebody had done the flower pot bubble gum machine. I have revised it though, so I've made the flower pot bu bubble gum machine a little bit better than what the other ladies have done. So I'm going to explain to you guys what I have done with it, and this will this you'll want to make more of them because now they're working, the, and the other ones uh, were not working because when I started w doing this and making it, it dawned on me that the top part here slides off, so it's kind of like a pain in the tail because if you move it a certain way, this slides off. So I'm going to show you what I did. I'm going to go ahead and, uh, since you see it from far behind, I'm now going to go up to a closer level so you guys can see it up close. And I uh, hope I'm not too shaky on the video. Well, anyway, I painted it blue, and um, terracotta is, you know, absorbs paint. So, you know, your best bet to do, you, you can use gesso, you can use acrylic paint. I, on my, myself, um, I decided we had a, a, a really warm day one day last week, and I went outside, and I spray-painted um, with the flat white paint, and so you need, to, you need to paint it with flat white paint first, so the flat white will be used like as a primer, and then you can spray-paint it, or you can paint the acrylic paint, whichever one you want to do. 
Um, I used the gloss paint, blue uh, baby blue gloss paint I got from Walmart, and spray painted the inside and the outside. So it's spray painted everywhere. It's there's no terracotta showing at all. And then I uh, took a little bit of white gesso and I just kind of like weathered it a little bit in certain spots and put little dots like it's worn a little bit. And then I um, took some clear acrylic spray and sprayed over it um, to make it have that shine. And then um, I decided to use uh, some wedding applique. And I, I this is some wedding applique that I cut from my um, own a wedding dress that I have here. Um, I'm starting on my second uh, wed wedding dress. I've got like three or four. and um, But the, anyway, as you can see, it's all beaded with pearls and sequins. And it's, it just goes all the way around. And I kind of tried to do a pattern to it. And that's how it turned out. So I've got all these little pearls and sequins everywhere. So I glued um, the wedding applique on this piece here. And my husband, he's an auto mechanic. So I can get like metal parts when I want to and I keep telling him if you get a chance bring me some more um, this was an old washer that he bought brought home from work and I cleaned it up and then this was an, uh, a, a what do you call it a, a, a nut nut yeah they call it hex nuts so I told him uh, to bring me one of these nuts and I, I um, used glue and glossy I mean um, glue and E6000 both hot glue and E6000 so I glued this down and then this little piece of filigree here is uh, something that I bought from DK Crafts by D, but she's elegant embellishments here on um, uh, Zibit. And then I, I glued uh, this, used a E6000 to put this hex nut on this like it looks like it's going to wind. And put a little pearl in the center just to hide the little hole there. And then see there's a hole in this um, this. Uh, we call it washer, so it looks like a little pearl's going to come out. So it it worked perfect because of the size of the pearls. Now, also, what I did is I took um, a glass vase. It's just one of them round Dollar Tree glass vases that I got. I filled it up with pearls. I mean, I went through all my pearls that I have, and um, I used cream, white, and uh, blue crystals and um, blue pearls that are in here, just and maybe a little touch of silver here and there. And um, I took E6000 and I used a whole lot of it. I mean, I mean, literally used a whole lot of it because I want this piece to stay. So it, because of it being cold, it's taken longer to dry. So I had to let it set for a couple of days so it would dry, but it's it's on there good. Now the lid, um, I'm going to just pop, uh, pull this up a minute. I wish I had some extra books. Hang on a minute. It's not like, I don't like you guys having to, you know... Okay, let's see if I get... That's perfect. Yeah, that's perfect. Okay, now... Well, still not high enough. I need it a little bit higher. Okay, let me see if this will work. Mm, yeah, it'll work. Okay, now the lid... Um, as many knows with the flower pots, you know, it's sitting on top of a, a vase. It's going to slide and tip, but if you notice, mine's really tight. So I can like move it this way and move it this way and it's not coming off. I'm shaking it. It's like perfectly staying on there. Well, I'm going to show you the little trick of the trade. But I'm going to explain um, what I did to the top part first. So I'm just going to kind of go up here a little bit on the top. What I did is I had a thrift store earring that I found from my haul, you know, from Saturday. I glued the earring here on. I put a little knob, a wood knob. And then I glued the earring over top, but I kind of like scrunched it a little bit and put some bead around the side and then I've got um, more of my uh, wedding applique that goes all the way around this piece and then on the underside here I um, had some blue fringe trim so I, I glued the fringe trim um, to the this part here underneath and I frayed a little bit of uh, lace and I just put glued that on there so the this got glued first and then the, that got glued so I've kind of got like what you call my version of a Victorian old antique type of um, bubblegum machine. So, it's like, like it's from the, the 1800s or something. But anyway, the lid. Now, this is what I have done, ladies. And this is what you might, you know, those of you that have done the bubblegum machines that didn't like it because this came off. Now, you can revise your bubblegum machines if you still have them. I took... 
on the underside here, if you notice, on four sides, I have glued Velcro. And on the top lid, I also glued the Velcro around it. So that is what is keeping my lid. So when I go to, um, see how I'm matching that up? So when I go to do this, of course, um, because of the tassels, that's the only thing. Let me see if I can hang on. I had to do it a certain way because I don't want the tassels getting stuck. Okay, there we go. So anyway, all you got to do, that's all you got to do. Let me see, make sure if all the tassel came out. Nope, one little spot there. Um, that's the only thing that I do regret putting on, but I, it was like a gap there, and it bothered me because there was a gap on the the, the vase, and um, I didn't like that little gap, so I glued the fringe trim on it, and it, it works pretty good. I mean, you know, you just have to, like, refluff it a little bit um, when you put the lid back on, but this is what I um, worked on, and... Uh, Okay, there we go. I really, really love it. I just love it. And like I said, the Velcro keeps it um, leveled. And, you know, like I said, I can tilt it this way, tilt it that way, and the lid stays on. So I now have a bubble gum machine that's made out of a flower pot. And um, there are, you know, like I said, there's other women in here. I, I can't really credit who I got this from because I, I really didn't see any other any videos about it. And, you know, I did, I worked on it, and then I typed in, you know, just to see, and somebody had beat me to it. And um, there were several videos of the bubblegum machine, but I saw, you know, what they had done, but I, I decided to do what I had in my head, and that's what I did. I also have a small, tiny little rack here from um, D, D uh, she's uh, Elegant Embellishments. Um, she's also known as DK Crafts by D, and uh, I ordered some more of this trim of hers online, which is, this is so beautiful. In fact, I had thought about using this around that edge, and I kind of wished I would have, and if I wanted to, I could, you know, cut this down and, and just, you know, redo it if I want to, but I'm going to keep it the way it is right now. And um, she's got this beautiful silver uh, uh, Benice lace in the um, her shop, and I've ordered some of these... Um, I'm going to try to be quick here because I know I'm taking forever on this video. I'm already 17 minutes, and I don't. I try not, not to be too long. I ordered some more of these little cherub uh, angels. They're just super stinking cute. And um, she's got these really beautiful, like, crystally dobbly um, bling. And as you can see how it sparkles, I ordered some of that. And then she had these, um, these beads here, the flat back pearls. But they look like they got, you know, pearls around them. And I know many of y'all have seen them. And she's got some of that in her store. And I ordered some of those because I don't have any. I've never had any. But she was so kind. You know, I, I, it was very sweet of her. And thank you so much, Dee, for um, the kindness. She sent also just a tiny little rack of a bag of goodies. I mean, it was like... Um, she gave me samples of her store, and as you could see, look at this little bag. I mean, it's that's a lot of stuff in that bag. But um, she gave me one of these really pretty hearts, and she's got these hearts in her store. And you can whitewash these down, or you can spray paint them, and you know, make them whatever color you want to. So I got. Um, she gave me one of those, and she gave me um, one of these, and these are gorgeous. And I I tried to order some one time, and she was out. So I'm going to go in today and see if she still has those, because I do really want some. But she she sent like you know. A lot of stuff here and um, she sent me another one of these and then this is really pretty it's like a button and she's got those in the store and they are really sparkly beautiful 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 and all these are stinking cute I mean I can't wait to show you these um, they're little high heels and they're uh, acry acrylic and um, let me see. They're real tiny. They're just so, I mean, well, not real tiny. They're probably about an inch and a half in size. But they are so stinking gorgeous. They are just too, too cute. And I'm trying to get a hold of them. But um, she's got them in the clear. And look at these. Aren't these adorable? And it's got like the little heel. Oh, they are so cute. So she's got the clear ones. She's got the, um, 
pink colored ones and she gave me two of you know a pair and this is what the pink one looks like isn't that just so cute and then she's got the um the lavender one and she gave me uh three sets um two of two each so it was a like a pair and then she gave me the lavender and the all oh, the purple is really a pretty color look at that and that gorgeous so i can't wait to you know figure out what to make what i'm going to make with those and also um she gave me some stars these are little plastic stars and they're they're really pretty um they would make great little flower centers all you have to do it or charms for your chunky charms and there's one right there and then there's the pink one right here and then there is like a peach colored one that's really pretty and then i got um she sent me some charms and some little pearl um these little pearl hearts these are the pearl, pearl hearts these are really pretty they got a um, embellishment like look on the inside whoops I dropped it where'd it go okay I'll find it in just a minute oh there it is okay don't want to lose that and then she sent me a bunch of these which are like little um little uh, buttons but they're not buttons they're just little like look like little snowflakes or something they would really be cute on a Christmas um, thing and then there she sent me a couple of these little uh, teeny tiny flowers that are acrylic and um, Let's see, I, there's two charms that she also sent. Um, and like I said, she didn't just send like just one piece. It was like two or three or four or five different kinds of pieces that she sent me. Because you know, like I said, it's a bag full. So, Dee, thank you so very much. Um, I really do appreciate the, the, the gifts, extra gifts. And uh, I will be back in there because there's a few things that I hope you still have on in your... Look at this little perfume bottle. Isn't that adorable? I just love, love, love that little perfume bottle. So that's another piece that I thought was really pretty. And um, then she gave me some of these Cherub Angel um, charms. And they are really cute. Um, they're, they're about, I'd say about an inch in size. So that's what they look like. And um, thank you so much, Dee. I really do appreciate it. But like I said, she gave me a handful of little goodies from her store and I you know I was like wow I was not expecting that from her and um I can't wait to use some of these items and I'm still planning on I, I definitely want to make an order of a few things that she's got from her store um actually I want to make another order of this silver stuff before she runs out because I love that silver trim but anyway, this is the project that I have worked on for the week, and I hope everybody likes what they um, what I made. And um, if you have any questions or anything about the flower pot, um, it's terracotta. Uh, you can get these at your Home Depots or your Lowe's or hardware stores. Um, usually Kmart this time of year. Um, Kmart, Walmart, you know, they, they start selling the terracotta teapots. And, you know, if you don't want to do a terracotta one, you can always do the plastic ones as well. As long as the plastic, you know, lid comes, the lid, lid comes off. But this is what I made, and I really can't wait to put it in my craft room. I'm looking forward to, you know, just decoing my craft room out. And this is the color, uh, baby blue is the color that I'm trying to, to get in my craft room. And, uh, you know, w whether we... I move or not um there's going to be a blue craft room so i'm just letting you know i'm planning for a baby blue craft room no matter what but this is how it turned out and i uh, hope you guys have a very nice day and i will see you again sometime during the week love you guys and bye bye